After the first round of COVID-19 testing, Griffith's positive result was announced. It came after he had played in all three practice matches and was set to travel. Out of Griffith's gloom comes the light of a second chance for Savory, who made his list a debut in the 2019 season. When I um, got the call, I was at training. And it was kind of surprising, you know, because it's not something anyone would wish on anyone or, or that, that way, you know. They, it, it just happened, you know, you, you feel it for him. And when I got the call, I was, you know, overjoyed for getting that opportunity again to represent my country. You know, I've been I've been there, I think, in 2019. I know how how it how it feels to represent the country, you know. So getting the opportunity again, I'm looking forward to grab it with both hands. In his debut season, he struck a vital 71 not out from 146 balls, which led Jaguars to a nervy two-wicket victory over eventual champions West Indies emerging players. The Lefana from Essequibo played four more matches but added just 14 more runs to end the season with an average of 21.25 and a strike rate of 48.29. He also had two stompings in the three innings he kept wicket. With the nerves of the first season gone, the 24-year-old indicated he has worked overtime on improving his game. During the lockdown, you know, it was difficult training on your own, but I was be I was working on try rotating the strike as much as possible. I think that was one of my um downfall last tournament. So I think that is one of the area I've been working on very hard. Try rotating the strike. Don't put much pressure on me. Um, well now it will be a different role opening the batting. It's a 50 over game. Two only two players allowed in out the circle in a power play. So. That would be an advantage for me and I'm looking forward to, you know, grab that with both hands as well. All of the franchises for this Super 50 have most of the services of their international players who would normally be unavailable. Sherman Hetmeyer and Romario Shepard would be the two big names for the Jaguars, but Servi felt one should keep an eye out for the youngsters. It would be a tough tournament because playing with guys like Pollard, Evan Lewis, Selena Ryan, Jason Holder and the rest of us in these big names who will be in this tournament. Um, people might say yeah, they have the advantage, but I still believe that the Guyana Jaguars, the, the team we have, is a good bunch of guys, young talent. Players are hungry, you know, players want to do good. And um, I think that that would be a boost for us, bringing up the title. This year there will be a boost because if you look if you look at our squad, it might just have a Timaya or a Shepard and a Barnwell, but people wouldn't like much look at the youngsters coming up. But what I could tell you that each and every one of the players in that team is hungry to do it. Well. The former national league player expressed thanks for the continued support of the Guyana Police Force of whom he plays club cricket, Vinet Communications and close friend Trevor Ben for all the years of advice which drives him to perform. He said he wants to do whatever he can to make Ghana Jaguars fifth over champions this year. For the newsroom, Akim Green.